4. The Absolute Mind There is an intellectual nature of the third source and center that is distinct from his physical and spiritual attributes. Such a nature is hardly contactable, but it is associable, intellectually, though not personally. It is distinguishable from the physical attributes and the spiritual character of the third person on mind levels of function, but to the discernment of personalities, this nature never functions independently of physical or spiritual manifestations. The absolute mind is the mind of the third person. It is inseparable from the personality of God the Spirit. Mind, in functioning beings, is not separated from energy or spirit or both. Mind is not inherent in energy. Energy is receptive and responsive to mind. Mind can be superimposed upon energy. But consciousness is not inherent in the purely material level. Mind does not have to be added to pure spirit, for spirit is innately conscious and identifying. Spirit is always intelligent, minded in some way. It may be this mind or that mind. It may be pre-mind or super-mind, even spirit-mind but it does the equivalent of thinking and knowing. The insight of spirit transcends, supervenes, and theoretically antedates the consciousness of mind. The conjoint creator is absolute only in the domain of mind, in the realms of universal intelligence. The mind of the third source and center is infinite. It utterly transcends the active and functioning mind circuits of the universe of universes. The mind endowment of the seven super-universes is derived from the seven master spirits, the primary personalities of the conjoint creator. These master spirits distribute mind to the grand universe as the cosmic mind, and your local universe is pervaded by the Nevadon variant of the Orvantan type of cosmic mind. Infinite mind ignores time. Ultimate mind transcends time. Cosmic mind is conditioned by time and so with space. The infinite mind is independent of space, but as descent is made from the infinite to the adjutant levels of mind, intellect must increasingly reckon with the fact and limitations of space. Cosmic force responds to mind even as cosmic mind responds to spirit. Spirit is divine purpose, and spirit mind is divine purpose in action. Energy is thing, mind is meaning, spirit is value. Even in time and space, mind establishes those relative relationships between energy and spirit which are suggestive of mutual kinship in eternity. Mind transmutes the values of spirit into the meanings of intellect. Volition has power to bring the meanings of mind to fruit in both the material and spiritual domains. The paradise ascent involves a relative and differential growth in spirit, mind, and energy. The personality is the unifier of these components of experiential individuality.